What it do you too? It's your boy Ron, man. Back with another video. What's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling? Me, I'm feeling good. Cause you know, I'm a, I'm recording, I'm grinding to get another video out for y'all, you feel me? So I feel amazing. How y'all feeling? Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feeling though. But I recorded a video to Dirk, new song, Smurf Carter, but it got blocked worldwide, so YouTube took it down, so I couldn't even upload for y'all yesterday, but I couldn't upload for y'all yesterday, November 10th, I couldn't upload, but we're going to try to get a video out today for y'all on the 11th, the next day, you're going to see though, but I really wanted that video to go up because Dirk went crazy on that song. Smoke Carter did it. If y'all didn't listen to it, y'all go listen to it. It's low key tough. I'm not trying to get that out for y'all, but I'm still trying to get it out for y'all. We're going to see if YouTube let it go up. We're going to see. I'm still going to try to get it out for y'all. But if y'all new to the channel, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section some videos y'all want me to react to. Some videos I ain't seen yet or music, anything. Just let me know. Yo, homie, music, anything. Just let me know or DM me. My social should be on this side or it should be over here. Just DM me, let me know. And I got y'all. But today, we're going to be reacting to Avante 1K Exposes Kwan and ATL Money Glitch. Now, if y'all don't know, it's been all over the media for real. Kwan and Avante been beefing about the cars, Kwan jury, about scamming, all this. They been beefing. And, 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 and if y'all watch Vontae and Vontae video, it seemed like it all came from them talking in the group chat. Like, you know, them joking around in the group chat and they got serious. So, and now Vontae, 1K, and Quan beef. So, if y'all ain't seen it, see, I don't know how you didn't see it if it's all over the media. But that's what I'm going to be acting to today for y'all, man. Let's get into it and see what, see what Vontae talking about about Quan, y'all. The car, which, is, which was great. It was sitting up there in the mechanic section for a month until they figured this whole green goblin shit out, right? <laughs> this this car right here was sitting, it was collecting dust, bro. They had this year ago when that whole, you drive Quan's cars, you drive Quan's cars, you always get Quan's cars. I ain't have a choice, because I'm going to tell you one thing, when they took green goblin back, this nigga even- Hold on, wait. What he mean he didn't have a choice? It's other Hellcats in the world. You couldn't, like, I know Green Goblin was different because if y'all don't know, Green Goblin came from Life of Corey. Corey SLG, that, that's his Hellcat. That was his Hellcat. But what you mean he didn't have a choice? It's other Hellcats in the world besides that one. Like, you could have got a Hellcat. You could have changed the exhaust and did all that. I mean, it wouldn't be like Green Goblin, but you know, you, you got to add your touch to it. So, what he mean he didn't have no choice? You definitely had a choice. He's either going to jail if I didn't give them niggas the car. He's going to jail if I didn't give these niggas the car. Which I was a good friend, so I gave this nigga the car. I was like, here, take the car. You know what I'm saying? Mike Rezio put me in another car, whatever, right? Lie to y'all not, bro. He made a video, buy my old Hellcat back. I made a video, I bought a Hellcat Red Eye. And we tried to cover that shit up the best way we could. But since we talking about my cars, let's talk about... So, he could have sent Quan to jail... He could have sent Quan to jail or get him the car. So he gave Quan a car because he didn't want to go to jail. That's some W shit, though. For real. Your cars. Because last time I remember, I could have kept Green Goblin, still made my great money, put your ass in jail for writing a fake check. A oh, fake check? Quan writing fake checks? I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know, though. That would have been smooth, but me being a really good friend... I gave up damn near my fucking business because as soon as I gave up Green Goblin, my channel went down. They don't want to see this basic ass great charger. But, but, this me being a good friend and Raw, Raw was like, nigga, keep Green Goblin, knowing the consequences behind it. Raw, your best friend. Raw told me to put your ass in the slammer and keep Green Goblin. So, Raw told, so Raw told Vontae to keep the Green Goblin and St. Quan to jail. Crazy. Hey, y'all, that's crazy, y'all. But it, 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 that's your best friend, so. I ain't gonna say shit, but that's how I ended up with this red eye right here, right? He took Green Goblin, instead of paying the 550k or going to jail, this nigga took Green Goblin that was stolen, and with the, with the, it was recovered. I did because if y'all know, when the car got recovered, I never seen it again. It was his car, and I got this. And we covered it like, I'm gonna buy this car back, you get this car, and we... we and all right, so 
the the video ended right there. I thought I was gonna keep going, but as you can see though, basically to sum it up is that Khan and Vontae beef and Vontae could have sent Khan to jail and gone. He was talking about Khan jewelry fake, all this, all that, whatever. But if you don't know, they shot from the same jeweler, which is OKQ, and from. From okay, Q understanding is that he don't sell fake jewelry. The only jewelry that he don't sell is um CZ, which is cubic zirconia, which is fake. He said he don't sell that, but he sell all type of diamonds and gems. So I don't understand how a jewelry can be fake if you buy from if you buy from him too. I don't know. That's what they talking about. But from my standpoint though, I can't really I can't really give out that he's scamming that corn scamming and jewelry fake or whatnot. Cause the jewelry can be fake. All just cause diamonds shine don't mean that diamonds is real. But my fault, y'all. Something was going on with the recording. But as I was saying, as yeah, just because diamonds shine don't mean that they real. They could be fake. But I can't really say that somebody's jewelry is real or fake. Only only person that I know is them. Or if you diamond tested. But I don't know. But for what it seemed like, Khan is really a successful individual. He got three cars, penthouse. So I can't really say, like, if he, like, scam or jewelry fake or not. Because. Only person that know how he make his money is him. So, I like I said that Khan is a successful YouTuber. <laughs> like, he's successful on YouTube. It ain't really nothing more I can say, honestly. But, yeah, it was a lot going on with that. But, man, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the situation. Because at one point in time, they was cool. So, I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments. But, if y'all new to the channel, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Like I said again. Let me know in the comments some things y'all want me to react to when I got y'all. So it should be on that side or this side. But it's your boy Ron, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video, and I'm gone.